This tutorial is about how to break in Daner Patrol boots before you wear them. Let me explain why you need to do that. When you first get a pair of Daner Patrol boots like these, particularly the stock version that have the day cord or plastic shaft with a leather foot, where they bend at the ankle should form a nice even crease. If it doesn't form an even crease, if the crease goes sideways, then you'll get a dimple on the inside of the boot that will bite the back of your heel and may rub or cause blisters or sores. You don't want that to happen. Let me show you why. I bought a pair of Daner boots years ago and just put them on. Wore them around a lot and I really liked them. However, as I broke them in, they form this terrible crease that you can see right here at the ankle. This crease bent sideways. When it bends, it goes in across the back of my ankle and I've had blisters and sores as a result. So don't let this happen to you. Let me show you how to prevent that from happening. I learned this procedure from a written tutorial on the Big Black Boots website at boot.com. So you can read it in writing there. To see how this works in this video, here's the brand new boot. Now what you want to do is reach your hand in the inside and begin flexing it, particularly at the back of the ankle. Grab the leather from the inside so it forms a nice even break. It's called a break where it bends. If it's not breaking right, push it until it does. Grab it from the inside of the boot shaft and hold it some more until you get that break going. This is called training boots. You want to just work it back and forth until it flexes and that it is a straight and even break. You want to see which way the leather of the shaft is flexing and make sure that it's going straight across like you see here. The straighter the better, then it won't grab the inside. You see I've got a little bit of a bump here and I'm grabbing it for the inside and holding it to straighten it out. Keep flexing the boot until you get it to bend. Bend it back and forth. Maybe sit down and watch a movie or a TV program or something. And bend the boots. And then from the instep, you want to do the same thing. You want it to go straight across. When you flex the boots this way, it will form a dimple. This is a dimple on the outside. And that's good because it provides room for your ankle bone. So flex your boots by hand before you put them on. That's the major lesson of this tutorial. Failing to do that can result in a bad break at the ankle. Your boots will permanently be trained that way and there's no way to undo it. And let me tell you guys, that hurts. So then you do the same thing with the other boot. Bend it so you get a nice even break across the ankle like that. Flex 
back and forth. Reach on the inside to make sure that brake is straight. There you go. Flex it back and forth so you get a nice even brake. And then do the same thing across the front. It's not breaking even. Push it in until it does. The front brake is not as critical as the back. That back brake is what makes all the difference in the world. The comfortable patrol boot and one that's going to kill you when you walk. So again, just flex and flex and flex until you get that boot trained.